working in an architecture project and having to use viewports in a daily basis, I realized I was doing the same freaking thing over and over. You know, creating a viewport, getting inside my viewport to arrange my drawing, changing the scale of my viewport, assigning a layer to my viewport, and finally locking my viewport. I decided to make this process less painful, so I went to the Autodesk website to see what interesting information I could find, and I found a useful command for viewports. However, after using it, I realized this command could be improved to make my life even easier. So this is how I created lazy viewport command. Today, you can have this command too. Hello AutoCAD designer. Last week we went over some Halloween tricks that you can play to your co-worker for Halloween and this week let's create your new AutoCAD command. So the useful command for viewport that I found on the Autodesk, on the Autodesk website was the mView command with the option here on the command line of new so what happened is when I did click new it will automatically send me to the model space where I could simply select an area by left click two times on the screen to create my viewport after that I needed to accept that selection or area by pressing enter and then AutoCAD will automatically give you this viewport that you can place so if I place it over here it will automatically play your viewport like so however um, this command again could be improved to kind of automatically assign a layer as well as give you the options to pick a scale automatically so to in order to do that i created the lazy architect the lazy viewport command and basically i went to the cui and once i open it i click here the star icon to create a command or i simply duplicate another command in this case was the viewport so this viewport over here so if i right click on it i can click duplicate and once i did that uh, i renamed my command in this case the lazy viewport command and then i click apply and drag my new command to the here to the quick access panel like so because this is the easiest and fastest way to have your new command available in all of your drawings so i did click apply and finally and finally i changed the macro code over here so starting with the mView command that we previously used and what I did was select the option for new and basically I used this character that means a click on a specific um, area so since 
this command will require two clicks or two points to create an area so I used two of these characters and then I accept that with this semicolon that represents a enter on your keyboard and then what I did is I used again this character because this would be the moment where we placed our new viewport on the screen in, pa in paper space and then once I did that and did a quick test so I did apply and then ok so before doing anything I did a quick test so by selecting my lazy viewport command I, as you can see automatically I'm inside the model space so if I select the area to create my viewport like so now you can see here oops you're not able to see it but I have on this side all of the different scales that I can pick so for instance I'm gonna pick 3 8 and then again the viewport is right here I'll place it like so and boom now at this point this command is working nicely but I also want it like I mentioned that a layer uh, would be assigned automatically to this viewport because we always like to, to place our viewports on a specific layer so how the way I did this is as you can see right now is just on the regular uh, zero layer so let me get rid of this viewport and go back to the customized interface here for the for AutoCAD and let's go back to the lazy viewport command and let's click on the macro option again and basically what we have to do here is um, start right here after the CC which means uh, canceling any active command before using the lazy viewport command to avoid any issues or problems so we're gonna create a layer using the layer command and in this case I'm gonna say N for new and then we're gonna pick here the layer for our viewport in the office where I work we always put our layers on the our viewports on the points layer so this is the name and then I'll pick a color using the C option and the color for the def point is 26 and again def points to apply this color to the def points layer and then we're gonna say P for the plot option of this layer and I'm gonna say N for not non plot and again to the layer dev points so once I have that so because we need a more powerful macro here we're gonna use a diesel expression which is basically a way to customize um, the method of creating macros but using um, other standard AutoCAD commands as well as AutoLisp to make a macro even more customizable so to start this diesel expression well, we, what I did was after the dev points layer I used this symbol that let AutoCAD know that we are gonna start using a diesel expression so after this I used the get part 
a lisp function which basically get a value of an autocad system variable so uh, again get bar and then this system variable would be the C layer the current layer so once we mm, get the current layer information so we can store it and set it back later we used another in this case command in AutoCAD called setbar so setbar and then C layer which we want before we create our viewport to be the dev points layer Oops. Dev points. okay so once we do that and of course uh, then our viewport is going to be created and so on and then what we want to do next is again use the set bar command with the with the C layers and then we're gonna finally use the get bar system variable again Oops. to put the current layer that we saved before so we can finalize our lazy viewport command so let's do a quick test to see that everything is working nicely and then let's go over here click so and then again the scales are right here so I'm gonna pick three pick like so oops we see a problem over here which is that the lazy viewport command actually placed the viewport on the correct layer death point however it didn't went back to the current layer so let's fix that really quick let's open again the CUI and let's inspect the macro code and as you can see the problem is right here the variable is not C layers but C layer so I'm gonna erase the S then I see another problem here which is there is a space here so I'm gonna remove that space and then this lazy viewport command should be fine but let's do a quick test Again, I'm gonna change the layer to a different one and then use the command so I'm gonna click like so and I'm gonna pick the three eights click and as you can see your, your viewport is in the correct layer and your current layer it's showing good this time here is another wonderful lazy command thanks to my patreon supporters and subscribe for more AutoCAD tools